She lives for that. Star catchers winding down. Yeah, there, that's a little better. Actually, it's a zoom, I think. Nope, can't do that. Anyway, star catchers winding down. I'm going to give you guys a quick peek in this garage I've been working in. This is owned by Beacon Marine, and it's normally used for winter storage. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. It's a gravel road behind their main facility. Beacon Marine has graciously let me use this empty building to put Starcatcher in there and to get the work done. So, she's doing good. Let me pause it and give you a close-up. And there she is. Okay. I titled it in Michigan, by the way, because Michigan is literally one-third the cost of Wisconsin, which is insane. You would think little Cuba would be more expensive, but apparently not. So, you guys got Whitmer, and I got my title. You can keep little Castro. This is a brand new Yamaha T50 High Thrust. That is a 1411 stainless steel prop. Good on the high thrust side. I have an aluminum prop for backup, also a 1411. As you can see, let me zoom in there, the wheel is off. There is the Fel Marine device on the bottom. If I go overboard, it shuts the motor off. There's the Ray Marine Autopilot. It's a P70S uh, as in Sierra. So that display, so I've gone all Ray Marine on this, okay? Um, I looked at a through hole transducer initially and decided against it, so I went on the stern mounted one for the simple reason that I don't feel good about drilling holes through my hull. So, as you can see on the top, let me see if I can zoom it out, there we go. The furler's installed, and we followed what somebody else did to take the furling strip and bow it out to the starboard hole, the starboard uh, stanchions. And when we're transporting, we're gonna tie wrap it up there uh, or possibly saran wrap it up, either way. Um, flags, where do you put flags on this mast? Because I got no blocks on it. So what I'm doing is I purchased a couple of blocks and I'm gonna put stainless steel or possibly, yeah, probably stainless steel uh, pipe clamps on the stays and there'll be a single block on each side uh, When I go to another country uh, When I go to another country, I have to sail there uh, and be quarantined until they let me in so This way I'll have a place for both flags Now let me show you what I did with the shore power. I Put the shore power plug here in the anchor locker now it's sealed real good, but it doesn't get direct sunlight. And what I'll be doing here is right around, probably around the boat, the bow, I'll be tying a, um, tying, cutting a small notch there, okay? This big black cable is my VHF cable. Um, and if you look at the far end of the mast, let me zoom it in for you. I have a Windex mounting, I have a VHF antenna on top, and an anchor light mounted on top. That was homemade. High density polyethylene. Steaming light has been replaced with a new one and riveted on, it's LED. And then out the bottom comes the VHF cable. And if you look right up here, I replaced the original wire hookup because it only had two leads with a four lead, one for the anchor light, one for the steaming light, which are now controlled with separate switches and a ground and a spare that isn't used. And then I used a VHF through deck fitting, 259 to 259 female through deck fitting, and I run a factory made from the antenna down, and then on the bottom side, I run another factory made and terminated cable to my VHF in the back. I'm also putting in the extension, RAM extension, for the radio, so I'll have a handheld on my pedestal. Um, for turning on the electronics, sonar, chart plotter, autopilot, I'm going to be putting weatherproof switches right on the pedestal. 
So the power will be run from a fuse bank in the pedestal to the switch and then to the device. So the switches I got, if memory serves me correctly, are breakers. So any little spikes and they trip, that's good. Um, so pretty, pretty much she's set. There's obviously, oops, still a lot of oxidation and crap I gotta get done, but that's just gonna take time. Um, the logo I got for her is beautiful too. You'll see that shortly. I'll post that in the comments of this video. So we're winding down. Um, I'm installing the wheel uh, motor on the autopilot wheel tonight. And then um, we're gonna improvise with the rest. Oh, I got a call coming in.